is staying in, in, in the region. How worried are you with, given the, the Israelis' prime minister's comments on the northern front in Lebanon, how worried are you that that could spin out of control uh, at any time? So we do remain incredibly concerned about the risk of isolation uh, along the Israel-Lebanon border. It's something we've been concerned about since uh, the immediate aftermath of October 7th. And we have been engaged in intense diplomatic conversations and intense diplomatic negotiations to <clears throat> try to avoid the, uh, uh, that conflict from escalating beyond control. Now, a few things. One, number one, and you heard me say this yesterday, it is an untenable situation for Israel right now that there are tens of thousands of Israeli citizens who cannot return to their homes in the north of Israel because uh, it's not safe to do so because of the risk of, not the risk, but the reality of constant Hezbollah shelling and drone attacks in the area. Um, that said, the government of Israel has long maintained privately to us, and they've said it publicly too, that their preferred solution to, to this conflict is a diplomatic one. And we continue to pursue a diplomatic uh, uh, resolution because we don't want to see that escalation of the conflict, which was, would just lead, lead to further loss of life uh, from both Israelis uh, and the Lebanese people, uh, and would uh, greatly harm Israel's overall security and stability in the region. So. We've been kind of two things. One is this track we've been pursuing all along. But then secondly, one of the reasons we think a ceasefire in Gaza is so important is because that ceasefire would unlock the potential for us to actually achieve lasting calm in the north. And it is one of the reasons we continue to pursue it.